Buenas tardes. Amen. In behalf of my family, salamat church sa inyong prayers and support sa moa. By the grace of God, uh, it's a blessing na ako o akong asawa o akong mga anak nakakuha na may permanent visa. So, we thank you everyone na matagusan ninyo na naghatag sa misyon. Salamat kayo. I-encourage na ako ang uban na din wala pa maka-involve na mo participate mo. It was a great blessing na makakita mo. Kaya ang visa, morning number one na problema sa matagos sa kamisyonari. And by the grace of God, dili na na mo na siya problema. So, mo in or mo out mi sa Mexico, wala na yung problema. And continue to pray for the work there. We are praying na maka-open mi sa Amika Amika. It, uh, it is one hour uh, sa city. So, I pray na to na natin key person dito. And we are praying na maka-open mi o children ministry. So, nagpasabot kung naa sa inyo ha, naghihikap sa ginoo, na mutudlo o English. Okay, most of the Mexican, dili sila kamaong in English. So, kung mga to ka dito, kinanglan mo tuon ka o Spanish, abla Espanyol. Okay, kung dili ka mag-practice, baka tulimbang-tulimbang ka dito. So, i-pray ninyo na ka na mga butanga na mahitabo, then praise God na ang traffic light sa COVID-19 sa Mexico, it is yellow. So, 20% na ang gialaw na makagather. But right now, ang atong bulatong nito, it is through virtual. So, by 11, magwali na sa mag-service mo dito. Kung 11 din sa tua, 10 a.m. sa Mexico. So, salamat Church na naahatag-hatagag platform na morning internet. And by the grace of God, salamat sa ko na sa balay, stable ang connection. So, makapadayong tag-minister sa mga ta. So, i-pray ninyo kay dili sa yon ang giyagihan sa itong mga igsuon nito. Last year, up to this time, karun-karun pa makagawas, pero dili basta-basta kung magpriso ka sa balay. So, i-pray na to na by this, na maka-open ta, then I'm encouraging kung ikaw gitawag or nakay kabugaton sa bulahaton sa Mexico, surrender. Amen? And I will encourage you by the promise of the Word of God, dili ka mapas mo. So, ayaw to na mapas mo ka. In the ministry, ang gino, dili mo pasagan mo. Yeah, I, I, I am a living testimony. Bisa pa na lockdown, you know, ang mga churches, ni drop ang support. But never one time na kami gipasagdan sa gino. Nagbaro ko ninyo, nagliso na kong paggamay. Muna ay ibidin siya. Na dilita pasagdan sa gino. So, I'm encouraging you. I'm a living testimony. So, ay kahadlo ko. Ang gihadlo ka ni mo kaon, diligin na problema. Burag nananaw mo na ko. Burag nagduda mo ba? Okay? May I encourage everyone to please stand in giving reverence of the Word of God. John chapter 9. Salamat, Pastor Ken, sa opportunity, sa pagsalig na makadala ko sa pulong sa Gino this afternoon. And to our Pastor Emeritus, thank you once again sa imuhang mag-train ako for 23 years. It is a great privilege na naka-work on in a church. Diri ko na luwas, diri ko na baptizan, diri ko gi-disciple, diri ko na minyo, and God forbid, diri ko mamatay diri. John chapter 9, okay? Let's all together read together verse 1 up to 7. Are you there? Ready, go. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither had this man seen nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me, while it is day, the night cometh, then no man can work. As long as I, I am the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground, and made clay in the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, and said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, 
which by interpretation said, He went his way therefore, and washed, and came seeing. Seeing missions at the right perspective. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we praise you for this brand new day that you have given to us. Thank you, Lord, that we are still alive. We can still serve you. And I pray, Lord, that you empower me. Lord, I am nothing without you, Lord. And you may take all the glory and honor. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will be the one to move in our midst. And I pray, Lord, that you will give me the anointing, Lord. And I would just give you the honor and praises in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Seeing missions at the right perspective. So as you see in verse 1, And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man. Look at the word. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man, nor his parents, that he was born blind? You see, imo makita din mga ikson, duha ka grupo, or duha ka tao, or ang disciples ng atong ginoo, imo nakita din, ang nakito, nakita sa ginoo, he saw a man. But the disciples, they were trying to talk to Jesus and tell Jesus that who did sin? You see, importante kay mga igsuo na kita as a Christian, we are saved. In fact, we are saved to serve. What aluwasa sa ginoo na walay katayuan na dilita, mga lagad ganiya. Amen? Dili po idi na sa atong pagkaluwas na arata diha, mulingko drata dili. We are engaged in missions. Mabita na mga igsuo na sa dihang giluwas na sa ginoo, gidisciples na, gidisciple ta. Aron mo grow, aron ma involve sa work, then we coordinate, then we win souls. Ugi mong tanawang diri mga igsuon, as a training ground, gipakuyo ginoo ang iya mga disciples. But the thing is, na siya mga lesson na gustong mahibawaan sa mga disciples, aron ilang masayran, unsa din yung sakto na perspective sa ministry. Kaya kung dili ta kakita ni mga igsuon, na ata diri, mga laga ta, then mo complain ta. Not only we complain, we murmur. Kung imon tanawang din sa verse 1, And as Jesus passed by, He saw a man. Not only He saw a man, He saw a man which was blind from His birth. Because seeing missions, seeing it individually. Imon tanawang mga ikson, lain-lain kultura. I praise God, na ako diri. Nindot kayo i-soul winning kay pariha taglingway kung maabot ka sa laing na continent lahi ang kultura dito mga ikson dili pariha diri you cannot go inside and knock doors and get into their house na pasudlong ka dinaw no no dili na siya pwede ginangla mo establish ka relationship as you grow your and deeper your relationship diha ka maka share sa gospel then kung imong tanawon diri Gi-emphasize gini Jesus Christ, not only saw a man, not only a man that is blind, but this blind man is also a bigger. Kesa ministry, importante kayo na atong tanawon ng background sa tao. Kayo sahay, for 13 years, nag dino man ko sa Bible College, lisod. Kung dilinin mo tanawon ng background sa Bible Student, kalami duklon. Tinuna. Na yung mga Bible study na usbo nila ang alarm clock. 3.45, matinga na lang ang monitor. Mahimong 5. Muna kung din ka, kinanglan na kay alarm sa imuhang balay. Kay naagi mga Bible study na watinanggo. But when you see them, they are blind. Wala pa mo sila kasabot. And you need the right perspective na makitaan ni mo na sila that not only they are blind, kay kita sa sa wapata maluwas, mga buta, biyat ha? Dili kita, mahimong productive. Ako, di ko may baro na mabot ko anong puntuha, gamitong us gino, kung walay nakakita na ako na mahimong kong potensya sa umabot. Mausa na, in every ministry sa church, if you don't have the right perspective na makakita, kasi individual na sooner they will become a missionary 
They will become the dean of men. They will become the Sunday school teacher. Then, dili ka mahimong effective sa imong ministry karon nagidala. Because God, Jesus Christ himself saw this blind man's situation. He was blind. But you you, you see the the disciples, they were looking someone to blame. Mao mo sa tani. Amen. Kadaghanan na to may kita manaway. May kita mangita, awa ah, gini kapuslanan pastor. Gahi ginagulo. But praise God, Jesus Christ do not look at the blind man that way. He saw the blind man that has the potential na magamit. You see the verse, look at in verse 3. This is the, the perspective of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus answered, Neither had this man seen, nor his parents, what was the next phrase? But the works of God should be made manifest in him. My son, kung ang ministry, mudawat ang taglimpyo, kay potential na nataw, intelligent na nataw, dili ta mo engage, mo invest og love, dili ta mo engage, mo engage og time, dili ta mo engage og ganang hatag, they will not see what was the ministry. I tell you, ang, ang, ang vision, mga son, dili ni numbers, na mga ito ka sumiks ko, wow! 100 million na muna luwas. Dili yung nagsun. Dili na inana. You have to focus one na siguro na imo na siyang disciple, imo na siyang bisitaan. Mga nagsun, ang, ang kultura sa Mexico, dili sa yun. Not only they are immoral, but amoral. It means no absolute standard between right and wrong. I already said, not to the train, they will do the TLC. Not only the, the old one, the younger one, hastang mga bunguto na laki, they will do that. On the street. They will do the passionate na TLC. You know TLC? Tender love and care. Dili na sa itong kultura. We praise God because of the gospel. What a diri. Pero dito mga iksoon, ikay mauaw. Masalamat ko dako ko kay sa train station. Akong anak, matabunan ako. Kay dito, wagid. Inaana sila. But I'm going there. I'm telling the Lord, Lord, please let me see the right perspective in the ministry. Because why? If you don't have the right perspective, you will manipulate. And you must dri be driven with the love. No wonder, ang unang fruit sa Holy Spirit, what is the first fruit? Love. Love. Amen? Munang kita na mga responsibility, ministry sa church, you must be driven by the love of God. I tell you, you cannot succeed. Because pastors always tell us, and I am reminded, ministry is people. Ministry is problem solving. Say, makapangutahan na kung anong naama ko diri eh. Sa tauhan nun ba? Because kung imong saligan ang imuhang kusog, you will quit. You will quit. But praise God, Gianad, and I, I'm thankful na sa staff kami diri, Gianad na magpagdala o bisita. Kay same thing rin sa di mong buhaton dito. You will be patient, maghuwat nila. At ito ta, manimba ta, imong kuwaon, imong encourage yun pagkasabado. Simba ta, same thing. And you have to be patient. And not only that, the love must be there. No wonder Jesus Christ, when He looked on the fields, He was moved with compassion. Ano man, kay kung wala na, you cannot succeed. Wadto ka, sugaton ka. Kung matiliyamas, niya bago pa ka na bot, niya lamas, kung saan, lamas? Kung matiliyamas, kasabot mo na? Ha? 
Na kung wa ka magskwela, wa ganitong inyong ko Andre, wa makoy formal schooling sa Spanish. And I praise the Lord because he doesn't call the equip, he equips the call. Nakaingon ko, lamas siguro ni no. Dili day my son, what is your name? Yan tubag sa nimo, mi nombre is Alejandro. Alejandro? Is that si Strangero? No. Mi cara is Mexicano, pero mi sangre is Pilipino. O ano mo kasabot no? <laughs> And I praise the Lord why? Because God will equip you. Mo nang gitagaan kog anak si James, si Brain, ug si Andre. They can speak Spanish. Better sa ako ang itsura o better pag sa pandultihon. Why? Because God is there. Mga bitan mga isun, pag lockdown, Kuya Juan tayo. But you know what? One thing nakapa-encourage na ko, Matthew 28:20, And lo, I am with you always, even unto the ends of the earth. Akong gigna na akong sawa, And lo, I am with you always, even unto the ends of the earth. And you must be driven by love. Because the work of God, it is God that will change people, not you, not us. All we have to do is to show them the love of God. Mabita na ningun dili si Jesus Christ sa iya mga disciples. No, no, no. No man need no one is need to be blamed. Wala tay ang ibasuloni. But look at verse 3 that the works of God should be made manifest in him. The ministry it is the works of God, not us. So dito maghambog diri. All of us are product of the work of the working of God in our lives. Nagpagamit lang ta. Amen. That is why Jesus Christ, number two is, I must work the works of Him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. Look at the word there. Not only He presented to the disciples that ministry, mission is individual. You have to, you have to establish everything intimate relationship with your prospect you have to invest time you have to invest money and even your life if it is needed that is why mga igsoon I'm praying Salvador Joel ang kanindun sa Mexico pariyar ang ngala na to tinawad na Salvador Gillian. Ako nga lang, daghan ka dito. Alejandro Laster, naaan na dito. Mas kikitahe pa ninyo sa Facebook. Maglison mo pagita ako. Kirting daghan ng Latino na Alejandro. Salamat na ay kriminal, pero na ay misyonari. And look at the next point is, not only missions, seeing it individually. Number two, seeing it immediately. Look at verse 4. I must work the works of Him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. Question. Pila nakakatuig si mong Christian life? And the next question. Naano ba kayo nadala na bunga dito sa church? Amen? It is shameful na dugay na tayo sa itong Christian life. Pero maski pagsulwining, mga ikson, saka ko nang giingon, ang, ang, ang church, dili ni siya activity na puro na ta fellowship. Dili mga ikson eh. Yes, we need fellowship, but the real thing is not a fruit na madala dili sa church. Amen? Kaya ang missionary, dili ni trabaho na mo, ato ni. It is not me. It is not the missionaries all over the world. Ikaw, sad. Kamu, sad. Hantod ka ron. Higyan po ka kamu, Mr. Winning. And Jesus Christ was telling them, I must work the works of Him that sent me while it is day. 
Wala ba masayot? Hope na natin mga lesson na kuwas pandemic karon that life is brief. Amen? And at this appointed to man wants to die. Where I should know what shall be on tomorrow. For what is your life? Amen? Kung imong kinabuhi, mamatay na lang ka-COVID niya, wakay na dala, nakalags gino. Pero ting ni Sura si Judgment Seat of Christ eh. Maintunsis ka rito. You see? I-rapture ko ito kakuyog, pero ingat to sa Judgment Seat of Christ, watakibalog kung siya set up dito. Nga, ikabot dito, mingong ginoon ni mo, what have you done for me? Ang ginoon, nag-appeal ba ko siyang people? Kutubra kami yun. Amen? Nga, ang pinakalisod pag yun, wak pag yun ka muhatag o missions. Diba? Faith promise offering. No wonder, because the Jesus Christ was telling them, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Look at that. Maski kung saan mo, why lain makasolb sa problem sa kalibutan kung dili Jesus Christ? Because the world is in darkness and only Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light of the world. And I praise God, mga ikson sa among chat box, sa ako na ginaingon, magpa- magpailob ko sa among church online, na agi mo post dito na mamaligya na mga ikson na mo. Ang usa, si Salvador, ningon siya, Pastor, okay ba ni mo na naadihan? Iko, Brad, nakibalo mi na, Brad, pero sagdi lang, Brad, pasinsyahan lang na ito, Brad. Kaya nga itong mga ikson diri, mga dilip pa na sila matured. Pandemic ka ron, Brad, sila siguro naghatag na tugkuan kaya ang ministry mga ikson kinanglan ni siya ang discernment dili mo ni Bible student na imong i-train into leadership kay Bible student bahala dili po hindi dili mo matag alas 4 sa din pa ko ang tuna alsahaw na ko ng bed kung dili mo matang ang Bible student pangutana na sila katawa si Julius oh, magkalisod-lisod akong bubuag tubig tinawa na ano man, the more you bleed in training, the less you bleed in the field. Kaya imo mo train into a leadership position. But when you are a missionary, when you are a pastor, you are nurturing them into maturity. Kastiguho ni mong bata, di na nang balik. Di ba? Pagtaningon ko, mas maayo ditong nadiin ko, no? Kinadiin ko, bantay mo ha, di higay mo mo mata. Ah, basta mga Bible student, diritso nga ito sa di huloy, devotional. Yan na pa yung Bible student na makampo dito. Wagod siya makampo, natugod. Tingin ko, anong nagduko-duko, makadugay mo kayo sa nakampo, mako sir, ay ko ilara. Tingin ko na siya, lagi nakampo, lagi siya, ay ko ilara, kaya ako nang buhat ang tuna. <laughs> yeah, yung mo na yung tagaag, kung sa may imuang insight, sa imuang ibasa sa Bible, awa, kibaloy. Ano man, natulog man. But those day, kato mga butang ano, na-appreciate na ako. Gipo sa Facebook ang mga picture na niwang pa kay me, nakaingon ko, Lord, asa naman yung lawasa? <laughs> Nag-ibutang nga yung mga comment dito, salamat sa grasya sa ginoo. Kaya kung wala pa ang grasya sa ginawa, kanilang mga itsura, ah, nangamatay na niyong nangapriso. Yes, true. Kamu, honest talk, naam kita, sa, naam kita diri, luwas mata. Why lie in satisfaction ni Moe kung makaingon ka na ang akong gibuhat ka ron, it will last in eternity. Amen? Amen? Hilig mong kitang investment. Hilig mong itao ka nang mo generate og income. Pag generate ko og income na mula sa eternity. Amen? Because this is what the Lord Jesus Christ was telling, I must work because He knows that it is immediate 
mission should be done. No wonder before he ascended to heaven, said Acts chapter 1, the disciples were asking him, Lord, shall you rebuild the kingdom in Israel? It is not for you to know the seasons and the times. Usahay kita, we are focused about mubalik na ang ginoo, mubalik na ang ginoo. My friend, sayop ka. Whether you like it or not, mubalik ang ginoo. But the question is, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Mao na siya ang atong part. Ayaw pa pagpublimaan ng pagbalik sa ginoo. Mubalik na siya. Di ka kibalo. But our part is to go ye into all the world. And it is an immediate. No wonder Jesus Christ said, I must work the works of Him that sent me while it is day. Dili ba ba enough na to na kanin pandemic makarealize ta that life is uncertain? Amen? Ay napabuta, mga sakit mo ta, ay napoblema, mga sakit kita. Samtang napatay kusog, buhatas bulatong sa ginoo. Kadaot na to, na natay sakit, unya pata mo surrender. Muanhi dita, pastor, ipray ko maayo ko kay mapagamit ako sa ginoo. Di ba? Mo magina ang norm na to. Pero karon napata dili. Ay napabuta. Amen. Ay napabuta na ma-covid pa ta, God forbid. Masakit pa ta, God forbid. Usa ta mingus Ginoo, ay Lord, use me. So pag use nimo kung pangag na ka. Awida sa among personal evangelism, kita doa ni Pastor og hygiene. <laughs> pag palit og kuan, mouthwash. Panot bras nga naman, kay abasig ang imong prospect mo, dawato na lang akong ginoo, kay nagagwanta na si imong pakabahog baba. <laughs> it is immediate. Amen? This thing, eh, God, nindot kayo. Kanang na kayo madala na usa. Usa lang. Ay lang pag unahon na ugdagan. Kayo sa hay, kung ano kita ba? Focus kita sa numbers. Ang usa galing nagbalintong-balintong na maging anghel itong kalipay. Naklaro. Himo kadag uskalibo nya di tinuod. Sa iyo na kay napagsuwat ang uskalibo. Kanang klaro. Amen. Ay kalimot mga tubang tas Ginoo, way klaro kay dito nya sunugo na ba atong works. Di kita kailad. Si pastor mailad na to. Pero ang Ginoo dili gina to mailad. No wonder the Lord was telling to the disciples, this is immediate. No wonder in your Bible, it is a lead letter. Jesus Christ himself said this, I must work the works of him that sent me. While it is day, the night cometh when no man can work. Look at the word there. Because he is the light of the world. In verse 5, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. The blind man, when he was healed, look at in verse 11, what happened? He answered and said, a man that is called, what is that called? Man. Jesus. Amen? Woe to God na sa atong ministry, mga isun, ang makita si Jesus. Amen? Dili makita ang atong pagkatao. Our pastor Emeritus always remind us, but be humble. Be humble. Kaya sa'yo na kayo ihambog. Pero ang pinakalisod, pagpaubos. Tinood na. And he said, but, kuhaan ang mga bitterness yung kasing-kasing. Kaya sige, tagkapatay sa tao eh, sa itong kasing-kasing. Daghan ako napatay. Kamo, daghan ako napatay. Pero tinagana na lang patay. Ay, magtanaan ako. Tinood ba yun eh? Tinood na. And he said, don't make issues with people. Kaya ikaw, di siya manubag, di mo manubag. Pag ganindot, kayo nga ko, Lord, ibali na ko. 
Basigahi ni ulong tinod mga Mexican di sura lagi. Amigo, hola, buenos dias. Ay tiempo para bisita in iglesia? Si, mañana? Si. Alas jis, nagsiga na lang mo matawa ginito nga. <laughs> Nya ikita nimo. Hola pastor, ¿cómo estás? Ingon ko lahi sa ni sila daw. Kita di ba kung kita mo injan ta mauwa mata? Sila wo mi ba hola, ¿cómo está? Ikaw pinoy dito pero mabuwang ko ikaw bagan. <laughs> And you know what? What God has reminded me, my responsibility is just to share to them the gospel. Because this is the motivation. The works of God should be made manifest in Him. Mga church, church, mo gini ato siyang timanan. Nasa atong papangalaga sa ginoo, dili ang atong diskarte, kung dili ang lihok sa ginoo sa matag sa katao. Kita, igo na ta nila mo invite, Igo na natin nila mo, mo share sa gospel. Mo na itong trabaho. But it is God that will work in their lives. Look at the blind man. And lastly, look at the blind man. When, verse 6, When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle. And he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay and said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent, he went his way, therefore, and washed, and came seen. You know, this is irony. God has a powerful word. He can, in Genesis, He just spoke the word, and it made, it did happen, right? Pero diri mga ison, I was wondering, anong, he, he, he get the clay, niya, iyang giluwaan, di ba? Nya, iya pa kyo giingnan ang buta? Go to the pool of Siloam. Kung ikaw gitabuna ng imuhang mata o clay, buta ka, palakton pag ika? Diso doi. Amen? And you know, you know what, what was try, what was the Lord Jesus Christ trying to let the disciples see what was the, He was implying? Because missions is seeing it intensely. Mga igsoon, sa dihang gitagaan kag responsibility sa gino, gitagaan tag responsibility sa atong pastor sa church, tarunga, obey. Because this blind man, even though he is blind, when the Lord Jesus has put the clay on his eyes, and the Lord Jesus has told him, Go and wash into the pool of Siloam. He went his way. You see that? Mga ikson, liso mo na nga to, maintonsis ka kung dili ka mo obey. Sunda ang pamagi sa ginoo. Sunda. Amen? Sa mission, mga ikson, kung maghimo ka gimo pamagi, na, mabulabogi ka. You know na? Ang pamagi sa ginoo, wa mo sab. Pray. Charge the pastor. Win soul. Study hard. Pugos mo na ni pastor. Pray. Maligya. Mamamingon, di ba? It's always pray. Win soul. Amen? Because the part of God our obedience will bring us into a blessing. And look at the word there. Tanawa ragod ang word. Verse 7. And he went his way. Tanawa sa katapusan na place. He went his way, therefore, and was. What was the next phrase? And came seeing. You know what? Sa dihang makita ni mo ang mga milagro na himuon sa ginoo sa imong kinaboy, that will be an anchor of your Christian life. Sa ministry, may isang dagang problema. And I will always reminded na ministry 
is solving problem. But you know what? What keeps me going is the miracle of God. And I see it in my naked eye. Kung unsa ang working sa Gino. Tiya ako muna, six months to one year ang approved sa permanent visa. And because of this pandemic, nahimo lang one week. That's a miracle. That's a miracle. Never one time na napakyas ang ginawa sa mong kinabuhi. Never. Since they arrived me, never. Wagi month na wa, may kabang sa balay. O sa church, God provide. All we have to do is take the way of God and obey it. And this blind man was the example when he was following the Lord in spite na di siya makakita mga igsoon. He followed. And the disciple was able to see that. And the verse was not talking na gigaydan siya. Nakita ba ninyo? Wala. Wala siya gigaydan. The blind man went his way and washed and the word came seeing. Seeing. Wala ang kadaghanan sa ito ah. Di ni takapadayon nga naman. Wa man takakita sa kamot sa ginoon na naglihok sa itong mga ministry. Amen? That is why we, we, we want to create our, our, our way in doing the ministry of God. And that's why we experience failure. Why? Because that is not the way of God. All we have to do is to obey the way of God. Pamaagi sa ginoo. Because if you will do your own way, look at Jonah. He paid the fare thereof. Nangita siya kaya ang kagulingo pamagi? Siya mo'y nagbayad siya pliti. Maghimo kayo mong pamagi? Maigo ka sa COVID. Tinood na. Because when you obey the way of God, you can see His miracles. And you know what? This is a testimony. When the neighbors were able to look at this blind man, they are asking question, Di ba mo manig siya ng buta na nagpakailimos? Ningon siya na, Dili siguro eh. Ningon siya, it is I. Kinsa man naghili mo? The man named Jesus. That is why my son, when we see the miracle of God, we glorify the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Huwag maunay gusto sa ginoo mga egson that He will be glorified. Amen? Every time, tagadlaw, ang atong prayer karon Lord, salamat, buhi pa ko. Amen? Mo ba yung prayer? Salamat, buhi pa ko. Salamat, nakasimba pa ko. Because if that is our mission, and that will be the pattern of our mission, there will be no problem. That is why the disciples was able to comprehend And you know what? Jesus Christ, when He was with His disciples, He set the example na makakita sila. This is the way to do it. Muna mga ikson, makampo kita gugma. Because sometimes, if it is not the love of God, ma-worn out ay. Imagine ko ninyo, 11. Pilipino time na biyasa na nga mong badikla ka ron. Igalasun si magpaabot ka, makaingong ka sa hay. Alam mo yan ay katugoy. Eh. But you know what? What motivates me? I'm not doing this for them. I am doing this for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? And you are able to do it. Why? Because you know you are motivated by the love of God. Amen? 